Morning Hope Church family. Hey. Um, today we are looking at Hebrews 3 verse 13 in our Together series, which says, But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of your sin. So the one another is to exhort one another, and that might be a word that we don't use very often. Uh, we use lots of these words through the series like encourage and love and care for and exhort is a little bit more specific um, what do you think exhort or how do you kind of feel that is defined I think, I think of it being like call to like calling people to something mm. um, yeah yeah so it's kind of challenge or urge or you know drive somebody's vision towards something urge someone to make a good decision um, about something rather than just a general care for mm. it is it's to have ambition for somebody else which is something yeah, I love is to, we want to have ambition for each other and, and this Jesus is, has ambition for us doesn't he exactly he that's where this kind of draws yeah, in for where in our, our hearts and our souls are growing mm. into maturity yeah Ephesians 4 is that, that God's desire for us is that we would grow uh, out of being children into being mature into Christ-likeness. So God's desire is that he, he has ambition for every one of his children. Mm. And this is falls into that, that we would love each other in the same way that we would have ambition for one another by uh, exhorting one another towards Christ, towards righteousness, yeah. away from the deceitfulness of sin. It says, I love this, it says, um, every day, as long as it is called today, yeah, and every day is called today. Every day is called today. You cannot read that on a day where you think, well, that's not today then. Yeah. Every day you read that, that's now. Now, do it now. So it's not do it occasionally, it's do it habitually. Yeah. Let this be who you are like as a, a people. Like a practice that you, yeah. yeah. Some, and like always a, a exhorting each other, pushing each other towards holiness and righteousness and Jesus. So let us do this today. And then th finally, he talks yeah. about um, that you may not fall into the deceitfulness of sin, that you may not be hardened by the deceitfulness of, skin, of sin. Yeah, and I think you want to commission and encourage each other to truth mm. so that we aren't hardened by sin. So that's the opposite of deceitfulness, isn't it? It's truth. Yeah. Deceit is lies and trickery, um, whereas truth is what we need to use. We need to truth speak truth to each other and it's so much more uh robust and beautiful i think than just speaking flattery to one another and just saying i want them to feel nice it's like no we want you we have ambition for you yeah and we have ambition for each other that we grow that we yeah. do well and that's what god wants for us so i think it's a beautiful one to exhort one another that we may not be hoodwinked and hardened what's the opposite of being hardened that would be soft, yeah. soft-hearted towards Jesus, towards one another, that we wouldn't be hardened by the lies of sin. Sin lies to us. No, we want to be growing in soft-heartedness, righteousness, the uh, maturity of Christ-likeness. Yeah. And we want to do it daily. When let's call each other today to the truth of God. Um, we can love like this because Jesus first loved us like this.